Why is it important that public funds support artwork that might be considered offensive? Um, well, this makes me think about my background in non-commercial radio. Um, I worked at a radio station, community radio station. Every once in a while, people would ask us, why don't you play the music that I like? You know, Because if you tuned in, you heard all different kinds of weird, experimental, old music, world music, you know, just like you could never know what you were going to hear. And our answer was that that's not our role, that commercial radio does that. And that's not to say that that's good or bad, you know, like I'm on a road trip, sometimes I just want to tune in and listen to some ACDC, right? But our role as a non-commercial station was to play the other 98% of music that existed in the world. And I think about art the same way, right? You've got a commercial art world that shows, you know, work that can be sold in galleries, right? And then we've got this other world that's somewhat supported by museums and institutions, but it's very, very big, and it's, it's full of work that, that's not commercial, that doesn't work that way, that maybe isn't even an object, that can't ever be sold. And that's not to say, again, that those things are good or bad, but they just don't fit in that commercial space. And so how is that going to be supported? But what is this stuff, right? Is it even really valuable? Well, I'll go back to music again, right? Think about somebody like Muddy Waters. Muddy Waters is widely known, right? Like you might not have an album of his, but you know the music, you've heard of him. Um, you've, if you heard it, you've probably heard his music before. And Muddy Waters is not played on commercial radio, but Muddy Waters is important because Muddy Waters has been incredibly influential to other artists um, and is, you know, I think really widely appreciated, but he doesn't fit on uh, the oldie station, right? We're not going to tune in to uh, the, the local commercial oldie station at one o'clock in the afternoon and hear a Muddy Water song. It just doesn't work there. Now, again, Muddy Water is valuable, right? It just doesn't fit. So, what public funding of the arts can do is support work that's not otherwise going to be supported. That's important, but doesn't fit in those commercial spaces. That has an audience, but not a venue, right? And that has value, but can't be sold.